Welcome to your introductory lesson to computer vision. Today, we'll be getting OpenCV installed on our machine and running our first program. Our first program is going to be decisively simple, something like this. All it's going to do is show an image. That's all. This is the image, and we're just going to show it using OpenCV. So let's get down to it. To install OpenCV, you must first have a package manager. I use Homebrew for those who use something else, you can go up and look at the documentation on that. But to install Homebrew, you can just go to a Homebrew site, type Homebrew into your browser, your favorite window or favorite um, search engine, and go and install Homebrew right here at the bottom. Copy this into your terminal. To open terminal, you can either type terminal into your spotlight or it's located in applications and utilities, if I'm not mistaken. However, I don't think that anybody does that anymore. So you can just run this. All right. So when you have homebrew installed, the next step is very simple. All you have to do is type brew install OpenCV and press enter. That's it. Once you just let homebrew run, and once it's finished, you'll have OpenCV installed and ready to run and ready to use on your computer. All right. The next thing you have to do is go and install Xcode. Because Xcode holds all the C++ libraries and all the information you need to make C++ code, which will be coding OpenCV in. To do that, just download Xcode and install Xcode from your App Store. And that can be found anywhere. That's if you're using a Mac. If you're using Linux, don't worry about it. The next thing you'll be doing is getting, get, making your file where you want to make your code. Open your favorite text editor. And let's go and save this file first. So go to your place you want to save this file and name it what you want. I'm going to call it cv2.cpp. It's important to have cpp because that's what the compiler is going to use. So just go and install it. Now we can get down to the coding. The first line we're going to write is hash includes cv.h. What this does is it includes all of the important, sorry, all of the important cv open cv libraries the next thing you want to include is highgui.h what this includes is all of the gui compo components like the window and the scroll bars, etc. Hopefully, you can see it's a little better. Now, what we want to do is make our main function. This is where the code, this is where the program is going to start running from. So, just type this exactly for the way it is int argc car star star argv. What this does is when you run the code, so say suppose we're running the CV1, which, we got, which we're going to be running, then all of the extra information we give it will be stored in these two parameters. The argc stores a number of extra parameters we're giving it, and argv stores the parameters itself. So once you're done with that, the next step would be to go and make your image structure. This is an IPL image pointer. What this does is it takes an image and it stores it in the structure. So let me just finish the code. CV load image. Sorry. Rv1. So what we'll be doing is when this function right here takes the name of an image which we'll be passing it through using the arguments which I just talked about right here the parameter right here and it'll load it into an image file this image file is called IPL image IPL stands for Intel Processing Library so basically this file structure right here will hold the image so loads the image from the first argument into the 
IPL image data structure. All right, so the next step is to make our window. So this function for that is CV name window. What this does is goes and makes a window with the name which you give it. So we're just going to call this a viewer. So yeah, so it's CV name window viewer. So the name of the window will be viewer. Next step is to show the image. And that's done pretty easily. CV show image. So what this does is you type in the name of the window and you type your image, your IPL image structure name or whatever, your variable which has the IPL image structure and it'll show the image in that window. So the CV name window creates a window named viewer and the CV show image shows the image data type sorry image variable in the viewer window the next step is going to be to wait this window will close as soon as it's open because the int main function will end as soon as it reach here so if we type this function right here wait key zero what will happen will be this program will stop right here until you press any key on the keyboard and then it'll cross past this. So CV wait key and once you're cross past this the, the program will end. But before it ends we just want to do some garbage collection and finish it off. So CV release image will release the image. Sorry it needs to be and because that's the pointer to the image. That's the address of the image and then CV release window sorry cv destroy window and you just type the name of the window viewer and you're done that's it that's all you need and that's the code just save it and the next thing you want to do is go to terminal navigate using cd and ls key cd ls will show all the files in the directory and cd will change your directory to whatever you need um, basically navigate your directory which you've saved this file in then in that directory all you need to go is type exactly this g plus plus pkg config dash dash libs dash dash c flags open cv i'll write it down right here for you to copy and basically what you do is you type the name of the final file you want and you type the name of your c plus plus five so cv2 for your so CV2 for your um, file that you want to make or the executable file and CV2++ because that's the name of this file right here. Just type enter and it should work without, without a problem. Once you have that running, all you need to do is type dot slash CV2 because that's the file that you're going to run. And then, like I said, the argument. So in this file, I have already got an image called krishna.jpg so i'll just run this cv2 this program right here the executable version of this program on this image and if i do so as you can see this is the viewer and this is the the viewer window right here with the name and this is the image so if i click any key if i click an f for instance as you can see it exits and the program runs fine in the next tutorial we will be going on and making and editing this image, maybe flipping it over, add, accessing the pixel values and so on and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.